Welcome to the EdDevelop channel. For centuries, Antarctica has been a continent shrouded in mystery. Enveloped in ice and snow, it has remained a place of intrigue for adventurers and explorers alike. But what if Antarctica wasn't a place of icy desolation? What if we could look beneath the ice and snow to uncover the secrets of a continent without ice? In this video, we will explore the potential of Antarctica without its frozen cloak, uncovering the mysteries that lie beneath its surface, and discovering how this fascinating continent was formed. Through a combination of science and research, we'll uncover the many secrets of this frozen land and uncover the truth about Antarctica's past. Antarctica is a frozen continent located at the bottom of the world, often referred to as the last wilderness. For centuries, it was shrouded in mystery due to its remote location and lack of human habitation. It wasn't until the 20th century that scientific exploration of this icy landmass began. The discovery of Antarctica revealed a complex geological history a diverse array of plant and animal life, and a vast array of minerals. In this video, we will delve into the mysteries beneath Antarctica and explore how this unique landmass was formed without ice. We will also discuss the various animals, plants, and minerals found in Antarctica and how they contribute to its ecosystem. So join us as we explore this fascinating continent and uncover the secrets it holds. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you want to receive future updates from us. How was Antarctica formed? For centuries, Antarctica has been a mystery. The huge amount of ice covering its surface has concealed any mysteries it could have, and its beginnings are shrouded in the mists of time. Scientists have been able to learn the secrets of how Antarctica was formed though, thanks to advancements in technology. When the continents were still a part of the supercontinent Pangaea, Antarctica's formation started more than 140 million years ago. Antarctica had a significantly warmer environment during this time since it was close to the equator in the southern hemisphere. Plate tectonics forced the continental masses apart during the following 30 million years, and Antarctica started to move south. Ocean currents transported cooler water to Antarctica as it got nearer to the South Pole, gradually cooling the continent. Snow began to fall and gather on the ground as a result of the colds, eventually producing a vast ice sheet that blanketed the entire continent. The ice sheet grew thicker and thicker over the years, eventually reaching a depth of many miles. One of the coldest regions on Earth today, Antarctica is home to numerous rare kinds of plants and animals that have adapted to live there. Scientists have obtained a deeper grasp of how our planet has evolved over millions of years by unlocking the mysteries hidden beneath its frozen veneer. It's fascinating to think about all the changes that have taken place since the days of Pangaea. What animals live in Antarctica? Antarctica is home to a surprising variety of wildlife including some species that are unique to the continent. Penguins are perhaps the most iconic Antarctic animal, but other species call the icy continent home. Seals, whales, albatrosses, petrels, and skuas are among the many birds and mammals that inhabit Antarctica. Other smaller animals, like krill, mites, and nematodes, also thrive in the region. Seals are common in Antarctic waters and can be seen hauled out on land or swimming around in search of food. Six species of seals inhabit the region. Weddell seals, crab eater seals, Ross seals, leopard seals, southern elephant seals, and fur seals. The Weddell seal is the most common species and can be found living on pack ice and in coastal waters. Additionally, whale sightings off the Antarctic coast are frequent. During their migratory journeys, baleen whales from the five species of blue, fin, say, humpback, and mink frequent the waters near Antarctica. The number of orcas that year-round inhabit the area is thought to be around 500. Among the most numerous bird species in Antarctica are albatrosses and petrels. With their large bills, they primarily hunt fish and squid for food. Large scavengers, skuas are frequently observed taking food from other birds and following ships in search of food scraps. One of the most significant species in Antarctic waters is krill. It is a tiny crustacean that resembles a shrimp and is a vital source of food for many larger species. Additionally prevalent in the area, mites and nematodes are crucial in the breakdown of organic materials. What plants grow in Antarctica? Despite its harsh environment and protracted winters, Antarctica has a remarkably wide variety of plant life. These plants exist, despite their rarity, and they have adapted to the harsh environment of this icy continent. Moss is the most prevalent kind of plant in Antarctica. The only two plant types that can endure frigid temperatures, ferocious winds, and little sunlight on the continent are mosses and lichens. Lichens primarily grow on rocks, while mosses are found in dry valleys and along coastlines. There are additional kinds of plants in Antarctica than moss and lichens. Algae, tiny grasses, blooming plants, fungi, and even a few tree and shrub species are among them. All of these plants have adapted to their surroundings and the prolonged periods of darkness during the winter. 
Despite the hostile environment, Antarctic plants play an important role in the continent's ecology. They provide food and shelter for animals, as well as add color and life to the stark white landscape. Many birds and mammals, such as penguins, seals, and whales, rely on the nutrients provided by Antarctic plants. The birds use mosses and lichens as nesting material, while seals use them as insulation against the cold. Even humans rely on some Antarctic plants. The antifreeze properties of certain algae are used in various products, including firefighting foam and wind turbine oil. What minerals are found in Antarctica? A great variety of minerals can be found found in Antarctica, many of which have not yet been identified. The mineral makeup of Antarctica is still mostly unknown, but iron ore, coal, chromium, nickel, copper, gold, platinum, and diamond reserves have been found there. Other minerals have also been discovered, but in smaller quantities, including limestone, sulfur, lead, zinc, manganese, and vanadium. Iron ore, which is found in enormous concentrations beneath the ice, is the mineral that is most prevalent in Antarctica. Over 1.5 million square kilometers are thought to be covered by these deposits. Because they are buried beneath the ice and permafrost, other minerals are more challenging to locate. However, researchers have found lesser concentrations of other minerals such as chromium, nickel, copper, and gold. The sedimentary rocks that make up the continent's topography contain the majority of these minerals. Sandstone, siltstone, and shale make up the majority of the sedimentary rocks, which were created over millions of years by the action of glaciers and ocean currents. Quartzite and marble are examples of metamorphic rocks that contain certain minerals. Overall, scientists are continually finding new minerals in Antarctica as they continue to investigate this fascinating continent, which is highly rich in minerals. There is still plenty to discover about Antarctica and its untapped mineral wealth despite the hostile environment and low temperatures. The continent of Antarctica is truly a mystery that continues to fascinate us. Unveiling the secrets of this mysterious place has been a great journey of discovery, and there is still much more to learn. We have found that Antarctica was formed by various geological events, and it is home to numerous unique species of animals, plants, and minerals. With its unspoiled natural environment and rare species, Antarctica is an important part of the global ecosystem. By understanding the secrets beneath its icy surface, we can better protect and preserve this incredible place for future generations. To this end, scientists are currently researching the impact of climate change on Antarctica's fragile ecology and how human activities may affect the continent's fragile environment. Additionally, governments around the world are working together to create laws and regulations that will safeguard Antarctica's biodiversity for years to come. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about our video? Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button and share. Also, leave a comment if you have a topic you want us to cover. Until next time, take care.